Here Internets, I'm Michael and today on Two Can Play That Game we're going to be reviewing Sushi Go Party by Game Right. So what is it? Well let's take a look at the box here. We have this playful little sushi. Uh, yeah, so it's about sushi. In fact it's about making the best sushi meal that you can with the menu that's provided. Now if you have played Sushi Go it's the same thing, just with more cards. There's some slight rule tweaks to make it work for ver more varying numbers of players, but otherwise it's the exact same game, the exact same amount of fun. If you like Sushi Go, but you want to add in a bit more variety, this is going to do that for you. So, what do I think of the game? Well, actually let's first start with what the game is in brief, because some of you might not have played Sushi Go. You might just be watching this for the first time, no idea, kind of going, well, I've seen Sushi Go about, should I be getting that, or should I be getting Sushi Go Party, for instance? And uh, firstly, this is a pick and pass game, which in modern board game terminology is known as drafting. It's where you'll be given a hand of cards, and you pick one to be your card, then you pass on the other cards and you get given more cards and you pick another one and you pick another one and you just keep doing that. That's what this game is. The cards that you pick will give you score dependent on either the card that it is, if you have to have a set of cards, things like this and all the different cards score in different ways. Now if you do want to learn more about how this all plays I have actually done a how to play video so you can go take a look at that and it gives a good detailed example of some of the cards, if not all of them, that you can see in this game. So what do I think? Well let's start with the artwork and the box kind of says it all with the artwork, this cutesy playful sushi artwork and that is what you see then on all the cards. It is, that is the game, it is that playful sushi. I love it, I think it's cute, it's family friendly, it's friendly to anyone. I, I mean, who is going to be offended by some cute little cartoony sushi? You might joke about it, you might find it jokey and be like, oh, look at the cartoon or whatever. But you're not going to be offended, there's no one who is going to be offended by this. It's good, pure, light, bright artwork that will attract all ages. And the game is simple enough that it will attract all ages as well, but I'll get to that later. Let's first talk about the components. So, the cards. These cards are fantastic quality cards. I mean, I'm surprised, you know, we've got proper linen finish, high quality cards, really impressed from GameRite here. Now, of course, GameRite have their typical metal tin boxes. I'm not very keen on these. They dent a lot easier than cardboard because they they're less they've got less give to them. They don't spring back as much as cardboard. And also this box specifically, the components don't really fit in very well. I mean you can see the cards fit in lovely here in the actual insert. But then the rule book. Oh look, the corners have to bend to fit in the box. I hate that. The corners are all bent up. It just won't fit properly in the box. And then the board barely fits. And of course it's sat on top of all these cards. Now, I think it's okay because the board's not that heavy. It's not really going to cause any damage. But I just, I don't like it. I don't like how difficult the board is to get in and out of the box, especially. So let's talk about the board then. So, we've got the box. I'm not happy with that. But what about the board? The board is really good quality. The fact that you've got the little inserts and there's plenty of gap to get your finger in to pick the tiles out and in works really nicely. Now this is a really good enhancement in my mind above the original Sushi Go because normal Sushi Go doesn't come with a board because there's no need for it. You're just using all the cards all the time. But that means you have no score track whereas this gives you the score track and of course then that means you have these pawns to move along the score track. I think these pawns are lovely, they're well crafted, for some reason they look a bit like milk bottles, I don't know why they've done that, but yeah they're nice, they're tactile, they're easy to pick up and move around. It works really well, I much prefer that to having to get some pen and paper out to keep track when playing Sushi Go. So that's kind of all the components then. What about the gameplay? Well as I said, it does play a wide variety of ages, and also players now. The original Sushi Go went two to five players, and I was kind of sat there going, 
this just isn't the game for me. There's not enough reason to get this. If it played more people, if, you know, like our family gatherings that we have, where we have eight adults, if we could get the, get the game out and play it at those, it would be great, but it doesn't play enough, so it just doesn't make sense for me to get it. And it's not like I'll just sit there with my wife and play it. This really, really solved both of those issues. Now, I still don't think it's great as a two-player, but you can do menus that work much better as a two-player. And there's even a two-player suggested menu, and that works so much better than using the original cards for playing as a two-player. And of course, that answers, can two-play that game? The original, really, I don't advise it. There are some people who love playing it two-player, though, so it could be wrong. But for me, I just found the game didn't have enough depth, enough involvement. It was too, yeah, and then I'll be taking that, and I can guess that she's going to take that, which means I take that. And you, know, and you can kind of plan four or five moves ahead, and some people love that. But for me, it didn't feel like a drafting game. It, did, it just fell a bit flat, and drafting often can, when especially... It's just those two people, and it is just, okay, man, well, it's obvious I'll take this one, then they'll take that one, then I'll take this one, yeah. Okay, and then, yeah, so you've got that score, I've got this score. Whereas when you've got more people, more randomness, you know, more special powers kicking off and stuff, it is a more interesting game. Now, obviously, one thing that this does really well is that varying player number because it's simultaneous play. So the fact that you go up to eight people, you're not the going, oh, that's seven people's turns I've got to wait through. You know, it, the game, each kind of turnover card is only going to be as slow as your slowest player, which means it works really well for that scaling between those player numbers. Obviously, you can tell, I really like this game. I think it's a great enhancement to the Sushi Go family. I enjoyed Sushi Go, I was terrible at it, I'm still terrible at this, but I still enjoy it, and that's for me the sign of a really good game. So who is Sushi Go going to appeal to? I mean, if you like Seven Wonders, but you want something a bit simpler to maybe introduce people to the whole pick and pass or drafting before moving on to that, this is definitely a game for that. And if you have Sushi Go, but you want to be able to play with more people, or you have Sushi Go, but you're just tired of using the same cards, over and over, then this will give you some more options there of cards to use. Just refresh that game for you. So that's kind of anyone who would want Sushi Go, I would say just get Sushi Go Party. Unless you just want a cheaper, smaller, more portable option. That's the only reason really to get Sushi Go. If you just want the little box that you can just fit easier in a pocket than this big metal tin, then you go for that. But if you want something that you can play with few people, or you can play with a lot of people, and that has much more replay value and variety there, you want to go for Sushi Go Party. This is a game I really recommend. It's one that I went out and bought and was on my list to buy. So I'm very thankful to have it, and I recommend everyone try it. Okay, that's my thoughts on Sushi Go Party by Game Right. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, and of course, if you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel and subscribe to the channel and also share it with your friends and family. And do take a look at us on social media. You can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.